Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the 9 p.m. live English news edition here at Top Stories. Signature for the construction and of a fundamental school in the city of Nassim. Five Malian soldiers killed in a double attack in Mali. Hello, welcome to our newsroom for having the news in details. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation of the Republic of Djibouti, Mr. Mahmoud Ali Yusuf, and His Excellency Mr. Koji Yonitani, Ambassador of Japan to the Republic of Djibouti, today signed an exchange of notes on the project to build a model basic school in the uh, Nasib uh, district in Balbala. In the presence of His Excellency Mustafa Mohamed Mahmoud, Minister of National Education and uh, Vocational Training. The objective of this signature is to raise the level of schooling and improve the quality of education. This combined project to build and equip a primary school in a secondary school is financed within the framework of non-refundable grants from the Japanese government to the tune of uh, two, uh, 2,511 million Jerusalem francs. Uh, to, uh, 2.92 million Japanese yen. In his address, Ambassador Yunitani welcomed the signing of this exchange, which marks the official launch of this major uh, project in line with the uh, Djibouti government's objectives in the field of education and reiterated the Japanese uh, willingness to continue its support for the governments of Djibouti, its effort to develop the country, particularly in the area of education and health. The Ministry of National Education and Vocational Training did not fail to thank the government and the Japanese people. Let's listen to him. Ces dons japonais destinés au ministère de l'Éducation nationale et de la formation professionnelle servira, inshallah, à la construction d'une école fondamentale. It is in the cooperation with the Japanese government intended for the Ministry of National Education and Vocational Training that will be used there for the construction of a basic school of high standing, unique of its kind from the point of view of the modern and adaptive structure, but also of the teaching and learning that will be provided with a capacity of about 2,900 students. This future establishment located in the city of Nasib will contribute enormously to the government's ambitious policy to provide schooling by the year of 2024, for all the children living on the Djiboutian soil. Therefore, I would like to express our gratitude on my own behalf and in the language, of course, of the government and people of Djibouti, to the people and government of Japan, not only for its Nasi projects, but for all the immersible efforts made over the decades, supporting the development of our country. I am thinking in particular, Mr. Ambassador, of the Vukuzawa College, the College of the Palmare, the primary schools in the chief towns of the regions, but also of the basic school of PK-12, which observed tens of thousands of children and which the elders will always remember your country. I am convinced, Mr. Ambassador, that we will be able to count on the unfailing support of your country, which through JICA, the Japan International Cooperation Agency, a partner of choice to our country, has always supported and accompanied us in our various educational projects. In his speech, the Jerusalem head of diplomacy first recalled the outlines of this project as well as its objective. Let's listen to what he said. Par ailleurs, la signature de cet échange de notes intervient deux semaines. Moreover, the signing of this exchange of notes comes two weeks after the signing of the donation of medical equipment to the Minister of Health by the Government of Japan, a donation of nearly 900 million Djiboutian francs. I would like to take this opportunity this morning to once again express the thanks of the government and people of Djibouti to the government and people of Japan. Moreover, the implementation of projects financed by Japan has continued despite the difficult period of the pandemic. This is a sign and illustration of dynamic cooperation geared towards human development. The ambassador also takes this opportunity this morning to thank you personally for your sense of responsibility and your commitment to achieving the objectives of bilateral cooperation. During the past three years of your presence in Djibouti as ambassador of Japan, you have done useful work, you have undertaken many development projects, and you have accompanied the process of finalizing those projects with great rigor and attention. Thank you once again, and I would also like to thank the JICA team and to all your collaborators at the embassy who have contributed to this useful work. The shuttle surgery of a department of the Peltier Hospital performed a surgical feed last Thursday using the whole rail Doppler technique for the first time. Indeed, Dr. Suleiman Noor Ayes' team has just successfully performed a delicate 
Emory surgery thanks to this innovative Doppler technique. Specialized in this field, Dr. Suleiman's team in the first in Sub-Saharan Africa to perform hemorrhoid surgery using this technique. This new technique used for the treatment of hemorrhoids represents a significant advance in terms of quality and precision in visceral surgery that greatly reduces the uh, healing time of patients. This new technique is performed using a modern minimally invasive surgical procedure that can be performed on an outpatient basis and has very few complications and greatly reduces pain. It allows the treated patient to quickly return to normal activities. Now, Dr. Suleiman Nur Ayi explained the therapeutic contribution of this new technique, which uses Doppler in the treatment of hemorrhages. Let's listen to him. Ce qu'il faut d'abord savoir, c'est que les, formes, euh, les hémorroïdes, ce sont des formations euh, vasculaires physiologiques du canal anal. It is necessary to know, first of all, that the forms, the hemorrhoids, it is without psychological vascular deformation of the canal. That is to say that they are present in everyone. They only become pathological when they become symptomatic. There we talk about disease. Burns in the management is quite codified. There is medical treatment, instrumental treatment, and surgical treatment. As far as surgical treatment is concerned, this was called the Morgan Medical Technique, which was created in 1937. This technique is effective in the sense that it prevents the recurrence of the disease, but it resulted in multiple complications, significant post-operative care. It had a great morbidity associated post-operative technique that allows for the ligation of hemorrhoid pedicles at the intercarnal level and there is no post-operative care because there is no wound there is no pain or less pain than the organ technique and there is less morbidity because there is no squeal in the sense of fibrosis that would lead to anal sagging and that's the luck we have is that these techniques are the first time they have been done in sub-saharan africa and it's the first time in our lives as well the luck we have, which has worked in our favor, is above all thanks to the cooperation of our decision makers and line managers, starting with the Minister of Health and the Director General of the CAB, who quickly agreed to provide this type of equipment. We also take this opportunity to also thank the Technical Director of the Peltier General Hospital for his involvement in improving the quality of care at the General Hospital. As for the technical director of the Peltier Hospital, Dr. Said Aulet, the introduction of this new technique marks a remarkable advance in surgical care, which is made possible thanks to the policy of improving the technical platform coupled with the strengthening of skills of our specialists and surgeons. The public of Djibouti has donated a large consignment of dialysis equipment and consumable for the benefits of neighboring Somaliland. Indeed, the director of the Central Purchasing Center for Essential Drugs and Equipment, Dr. Ahmed Hussein Miguel, proceeded to the delivery of his highly beneficial donation in the presence of the representative of Somaliland in Djibouti, Mr. Abdi Farah Said Ahmed. This, uh, do, uh, Ahmed, pardon. this donation of dialysis equipment and consumable aims to considerably strengthen the reception capacities and improve the quality of services in the nephrological services of Somaliland hospitals. Uh, through this generous gesture, the Republic of Djibouti has expressed its fraternity and solidarity for the uh, Somali people within the framework of President Ismail Margeli's forward-looking policy in favor of regional integration in all its aspects. In a short speech delivered on the occasion, the director of the CMME did not fail to recall the strong fraternal ties that unite the people of Djibouti and Somaliland. The representative of Somaliland Djibouti also expressed his gratitude and appreciation to the people of Djibouti for this act of solidarity. Now in health, uh, the uh, health ministers gave us the daily press briefing of this uh, Thursday. The data of COVID-19 epidemic is as follows, 513 tests performed, 79 uh, positive cases of COVID-19, 9 cases cured and uh, no uh, death. And as for the global balance sheet, it declines as follows, uh, 552,088 uh, tests were performed, uh, 5,240 COVID-19 positive, uh, 5,028 cases were confirmed, uh, cured, 59 deaths in total. Stay alert, protect yourself and protect the uh, others.
Now moving to the, another subject, the former president of the National Commission for the Prevention and Fight Against Corruption, Mr. Usman Idris Jama, has been elected a national coordinating president of the Ajwari Office of the African Peer Review Mechanism, APRM. The members of this commission all welcomed the new president of the, uh, the commission created in 2003. The APRM objective is to encourage the adoption of policies, standards, and practices aimed at promoting stability and socioeconomic development with a view to accelerating regional and continental integration. The new president of the uh, commission who took the floor on this occasion said he was aware of the heavy responsibility that has just uh, been entrusted uh, to him. He is uh, stating that he would spare no effort to live up to it and lead the National Commission and other relevant structures to fully discharge their obligations. Now the ONTD organized this morning at the People's Palace training in English for tourism professionals in the tourism sector. This ceremony took place in the presence of the acting director uh, general, uh, Mr. Habib Ali Ahmed, and the head of the service, uh, Mrs. Idil Mohammed Mahmoud, as well as the international expert, Mr. Suleiman Njai, who was able to join the training by video conference from Senegal. The objective of this training is to strengthen the skills in professional English communication techniques in order to meet the desires of the Anglo Saxon visitors. Also for the hotel, hotel sectors, pardon, hospitalities, agency, and re uh, receptive services to be more effective, the mastery of English is an indispensable asset in the tourism sector. Now a capacity building workshop for the NPH cadres to fight against violence and discrimination was organized yesterday by the UNFPA in the UNFD meeting room. This workshop aims at being better aware of their rights and needs to fight against all kinds of discriminations, whatever its form. It will continue for a week and gather several of the NPH. The ceremony of this workshop was shared by UNFPA representative in Djibouti, Mrs. Aisha Ibrahim, and the Director General of the NPH, Mr. Duales Eid Mahmoud. In her introductory speech, the UNFPA representative in Djibouti, Mrs. Aisha Ibrahim, explained that the world has now about uh, 1 billion disabled people, 60% of whom are children and women who are often victims of all kinds of discrimination. For his part, the Director General of the NPH, Mr. Duales Eid Mahmoud Teng, the representative of the UNFPA for these types of training workshops for its staff who will be able to face challenges to better protect the rights of their fellow men while obviously respecting others. Now, another subject following the example of other regions of the country, the student of first and final year of the uh, general high school and those of the techni te technical high school of the secondary school of the region of the Hill, region of the Unity, resumed the course on uh, Sunday, August 2nd, 2020, to be able to provide uh, from support in a true uh, combined before the uh, final appointment of the examination of the uh, back session 2019-2020, uh, which is enormously distributed, uh, disturbed, uh, pardon, this year by this pandemic of COVID-19. On this occasion, a delegation composed of the uh, Prefect uh, Aden Abu Sadrar, the President of the Regional Council of Dikhil, Abdurrahman Dionis, a senior official of MENFOP in the person of Hassan Roble, the head of the Regional Education Service, uh, Warsama Amar, made a supervisory uh, tour to ensure the smooth running of the reception uh, classes and the measures taken to fight against uh, uh, the spread of the COVID-19. It was therefore an opportunity for the heads of school to report to the delegation on this exceptional start of the new school year, focusing on the number of students, churches, and the barrier measures taken. Thus, about 726 students from the two high schools together happily, happily uh, returned to the three-week uh, course. Now, the Ali Sevi High School uh, called Are, the students of these uh, first and final classes have, been, have returned to the school. Pardon, some uh, 268 pupils in the first year and 342 in the final year have returned to the school after four months of closure due to the COVID-19 pandemic. They returned to their classrooms with special provisions, namely the respect of barrier justice, in particular with the adoption of the wearing of masks and social distancing.
On this occasion, the prefect of the region, Musa Adil Nikane, the president of the regional body of decentralization, Omar Ahmed Oes, led by the inspector and regional director of the of National Education and Vocational Training, Ahmed Hamad Ibrahim, went to this secondary school for a supervisory visit. The officials of the region and the inspector of LSB all urged the high school students to make the most of the three weeks of enforcement of learning in order to prepare well for the uh, baccalaureate exam. Before the exit of each class, the discussion with visitors wished good luck to the future uh, BAC laureates. Now, uh, in the region, as in other regions in the capital of our country, the resumption of classes by students of first and final classes took place this Sunday, August 2nd, in the two high schools in the region of Tadjoura. Early in the morning, a delegation led by the Deputy uh, Prefect, Mr. Habib uh, Jilani, and the President of the Regional Council, Mr. Omar Hussein, and composed of the head uh, to the regional service and the pedagogical uh, supervision team went successively to the General uh, Education High School, also to uh, the Technical High School of the uh, Tajwa, in order to supervise the smooth running of the resumption to the class of first and final classes in the region of Tajwa. The head of establishment have taken all the necessary steps to ensure that the barrier measures recommended by the Minister of Health are respected in order to avoid any risk of contamination within the premises of the establishment. Once through the gate, the young students first began washing their hands with soap and water, then up uh, on their uh, mask and finally entered the classroom while keeping a distance. The Ministry of Education also provided all high school with lots of hand washing materials such as soap and gel. Now, as part of the permanent maritime surveillance operation in territory water, which have been considerably uh, strengthened during this period of the confinement, a team of Jerusalem Coast Guard intercepted in the evening of uh, 2nd August 2020 at uh, 2314 minutes, a boat in an illegal smuggling activity in the area of Godoria in the north of the country. This boat was carrying a large quantity of contraband goods, including fireworks for uh, members of Yemeni crews who, uh, crews, uh, pardon, who were in default of their stay in our country were arrested during this operation. In accordance with the health regulation to combat the spread of COVID-19, uh, the four smugglers are subject to, uh, to a COVID-19 test upon arrival and pending the results of uh, the uh, decision health ministries. They will be quarantined and the surveillance at the fishing port. The Coast Guard is continuing its relentless uh, effort to put a stop to the activity of these smugglers which are aimed at destroying the national economy. The investigation has been entrusted to the uh, Coast Guard Research Investigation and Judicial Affairs Brigade and pending a judicial decision. The boat will be seized and detained at the fishing port while the four individuals will be brought to uh, justice. Moving on to international news, in Mali, uh, five Malian soldiers were killed and five wounded on Sunday, 2nd August, in the middle of the day in two simultaneous attacks in central Mali. More details with Dina Musa. Five million soldiers were killed and five wounded in two simultaneous attacks in central Mali on Sunday, August 2, in the middle of the day, a region where several attacks attributed to jihadists have been taking place since the beginning of the year. The double attack occurred at midday in the Nino Circle in the Sujo region, about 100 kilometers from the Mauritanian border, where the armed forces have suffered several serious setbacks since the beginning of the year. This is it for this edition of 9 p.m. Thank you for watching us and have a wonderful evening.